Hello, my name is Chief Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Chief Plays All the Games. This time with one game a month, the month of August. The month of August is optional theme is Splash. I'm playing all of the games that were entered in this month. If you want to check them out, I'll be playing 10 per video, and the links will be in the description in the order that they appear in the video. If you want to check me out, all my info will also be in the description, including my Twitter, my Patreon if you want to support me, and uh, Steam group if you want to check out the Steam games that I curate. Um, other than that, we'll play the games. So yeah, that's about it. Next. Next, we're playing the game Rush, which I played for the Game Boy Jam a while back. Oops. Continue. So we'll t continue, I guess, see what happens. I don't actually remember playing it. Jump over it by... I didn't throw it the right way. Okay. Keep moving the fucking screen down by hitting the wrong button. Go get her. Don't lose hope. I need to press the key to continue, damn it. Didn't have anything for that. Ugh, I got the crate. The monsters. Killed one. That's cool. Nope. Next. Next, we're playing the game Boombox. Right, left mouse button to shoot, space to start. This is um, a game made for one of the older Ludum Dares. People are dying from lack of music. Oh, six people dance now, one people died of sadness. Alright, so basically it's one of those, um, make something something in ten seconds. I don't remember what Ludum Dare that was, but... Done. Shit, two. God damn it, there's two over there. Next. Next, we're playing the game Grayscale, which is another older jam game for the. Excuse me, press start. I did. For the. Game Boy Jam 3. Well, my brain was just not working right there. As the colors have done two or four. So I just like little orbs. Okay. Level zero complete. Yay! Like how fast you go when you do that. Killed it. Killed the ghosty. What's this little? Yeah. That's neat. A secret area. That's right, so six. We're at six. Nope, we've already been there. Done. Next. Next, we're playing the game Turtle Trouble, which is a Ludum Dari 33 game. This is you, you are a turtle, you spend your days wandering the bricked paths of your homeland. This is the protagonist while walking by, off to do something completely unrelated to you. He likes to stomp on you. Or sometimes he runs after you, getting. runs over you, getting some sort of a stomp, uh, invincibility thing. Either way, it always ends the same. It's time the turtles take a stand. With arrow keys, jump with space bar, score points by stopping him. Okay. I remember being very bad at this game. Maybe I wasn't bad at this game. This man, this Mario. Some of them are quite fast, Mario's. 
Let's not get to where you're going. I have to let the invincible ones in, don't I? Yeah, I think I do have to let the invincible ones in. Next. Next, we're playing the game Squasher. I don't know how to like log in, so I'm just gonna hit play. Tell me to log in, but I don't know how. Okay. This is a two player game, there's only one of me. Kill off this guy. Player 1 1. Huh. How do I log into Game Jolt? Who knows? It's a neat idea for the two player game. It needs some more stuff like power ups, but it's a good start and it's quite colorful and it works well. Next! Next, we're playing the game Pixel Bird the Mole Crapper. Alright, move the bird if the crap meter is ready crap on a mole. Alright. Not very good at aiming. Alright. So this is like timer, it's in between uh, hits. Alright. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. The graphics are very well done. I find it funny because moles can't really see in the daytime. Right? Isn't that the thing? Moles live underground and really can't see during the day. Poor moles. Next! Next, play another LD33 game, Shroomer's Quest. Oh, the pain. I don't know how to skip through this. Alright, there we go. Can you wall jump? Poor guy. So it's like the Mario start level, except for a way cooler mushroom guy. He's not very happy about the treatment of his mushrooms. I can just like single wall jump, okay. We're chasing a person. There's actually a mushroom down there, so we'll see that guy. Can I talk to you? Nope. Doesn't care about me. Oop. It's kind of neat that you're just sort of free to explore all of this area. Apparently not up there, though. <laughs> Alright. Next. Next, we're playing the game's orange. The game orange is in love with my fly. There we go. Everbird here. Hello. General Orange of the Strawberry Division reporting for duty. God meant Goodman will pay for abducting our fly. He's holding a fly in his castle of happiness. His army is in the way, but he calls himself Goodman, but he's not a man, let alone a good one. Evil man. I hope you see it too. I'm clicking to move forward. So. I guess you can click, hold on. All right. Click on the desired unit and then select a row. Oranges are average and bananas are useful in cover. Okay. Those little orange guys. I just can like tell her to go forward and such. I 
Oh, so they can be covered. Right, we're gonna need some bananas in the top quarter. You guys stick there. Neat. Next. Oh yeah, we can go forward. Like ladybugs. Alright, so we didn't actually need bananas there. It's cool that they kind of are covered and such. Next. Next we're playing the game Octoball, which is kind of like Pong. How do I unpause it? Oh, okay, like this. Player computer. All right, so this is like the little pong thing. So so far, computer's doing well. I don't know what I'm supposed to get it in. Probably not in there. So is it like who pushes it into the ball thing? Because I'm pretty sure I've pushed it in a couple times. Or is this guy's home the like middle base? No, I don't really know how to score. They needed to score that one, and I totally pushed it in. It's a cool idea, though. It's cool looking. And it's a cool little, like, game window. I like when game windows aren't exactly square. Yeah, next. Next, we're playing the game Snake TML5. Alright, it's Snake, right? You know how to play Snake, is what it says. A little simple little snake game. Snake's a good first game to make. Cause it's not too hard. I don't think. I made a shooting game first. Not like it when like the apples are really close to the edge. I feel like I'm gonna run into the edge. I feel like there's only ever like a second between hitting the edge and actually being alright. Yeah, see? Next one. Well, actually, let's play again. There's something amazing about Snake, like something just so simple and addictive. It might just be for me, because I used to have Snake on my cell phone. It was like one of the first games back when I had a brick cell phone that paid like 10 cents a minute and received text on. But I paid for it myself, so it was okay. And I had a little Snake game, a little pinball game. That was like Snake. It was like a Pong-type weird game. It was quite more advanced than Snake, but you know. Snakes, what I preferred. Next.